Good morning, friends. Every day is a new opportunity to live life to the fullest. Don't allow the outside voices to dictate how you move. You live life your way. Morning, folks. I'll just get right to it. It's my last few days in Thailand. I'll tell you one thing. It's hot as hell here today. I'm gonna walk on over here to the BTS. Make my way over here to Wat Pho. The other place that I wanna go to is the Skywalk. Uh, second, second tallest building in Thailand. It's about, about 800 baht, I think they say. 850, something like that, to go up there. I don't know if I'm gonna go today or tomorrow. That's the thing. I'm gonna try to go to that retired working for you YouTube meetup. He's gonna be at Lush tomorrow. So I'll try that. And then I'm gonna fly to Koh Samui because I'm gonna go to Full Moon Party one more time. One last hoorah before I head back to the monotony of the States. And I've got another trip with my brother. Uh, plan for New Year's Day. That's his birthday's New Year's Day, so we'll go crazy. I'm gonna jump off of here and figure out exactly which way I gotta go. I know I gotta get on the BTS and then I eventually gotta get on the MRT, the subway, so just trying to figure out the quickest way to do that. Pause it here for a brief minute so we can get our bearings. Here is the Asok BTS station, and if you notice on the map, this station provides access to both the BTS SkyTrain as well as the MRT subway. When you exit the BTS, look for signs leading you to the Sukhumvit MRT. Here's a look at where Sanam Chai Station and Wat Pho are located in relation to Sukhumvit MRT. Once you've purchased your token, you're going to want to take the train that leaves from Platform 1, and then you'll want to exit at the Sanam Chai Station. From there, you can see that it's just a short five minute walk to Wat Pho. After paying the 200 baht entry fee, I found this gentleman who told me he could give me a tour of the grounds for 300 baht. If I'm not mistaken, they did offer a free app that you can download that will provide an audio tour as you walk around, but I chose to give this tour guide a little business. There are many different pagodas, all adorned with beautiful mosaic designs, and they were created to honor the earliest kings. One was built by King Rama I, and there are other pagodas that were made by Rama III and Rama IV, respectively. Right now, the king of Thailand, Rama the king, eh? Rama the king, 70 years old. Now, see the Buddha, around the temple, there are 1,250 Buddhas in here. He's a Buddha of King Rama I, collect them from the north of Thailand, from Sukhothai, Ayutthaya, the older capital. Okay. And once week we come with them, by the moon. Four times a month, half moon, full moon, half moon, then new moon, we come here. This Buddha here is one of the most relevant and refined statues inside. It's because the base of the Buddha image houses some of the ashes of Rama I. Monday and then 18 half moon day on Tuesday. Okay. That's shamed by the moon, that is Buddhism. Right? See, now the bloom one not so nice, they bring the, the one not bloomed yet. Another two weeks, see? The perfect bloom for the king, for the king. yellow color. It's okay. a marigold flower, right? Right, right. right. From here you can move in walking to see my Buddha inside. Buddha blessing. 
Oh, true. Under the heaven gate. Go to the heaven. Marble illustrations and inscriptions about medical sciences, anatomy, and orthopedics are considered to be the earliest used in public education in Thailand. I neglected to get footage of it, but you should know that there is a school at the temple that teaches traditional Thai massage, and you can get a one-hour massage here for 450 baht, or approximately $13. <laughs> Wat Pho's main attraction is this 150 foot long reclining statue symbolizing the transition into the hereafter, which is the highest achievement in the Buddhist faith. Thai people believe that worshiping the statue brings good fortune, happiness, and peace. The statue itself is gold plated and the feet are beautifully inlaid with mother of pearl, carved with holy signs. I was told that these signify the different realms one must pass through in order to achieve nirvana. That was interesting. Go over here to the souvenir shop, see what I see. They had the usual magnets, postcards, and keychains, but I opted for this sticker to use as an entry in my travel journal. The following morning, I had some breakfast and then made my way over to the Skywalk. Again, the entry fee for adults is 836 baht, which is around $24. The entry and hallway leading to the elevators is pretty cool, and the elevator ride includes a short movie, which is displayed on the walls and ceiling. Once atop the 78th floor, you are greeted with astounding views of the city, and on the Skywalk itself, you'll notice many people posing for unique photos. <laughs> From there, I made my way back to the room for a little bit before heading out for dinner. Back again at my favorite spot in Bangkok. 1823 T Lounge. Got my Caesar salad. Buddy hooked me up with some passion fruit, iced tea. It's probably my last time that I'll be here before I head back to the States. So, might as well do it right. Now, y'all, I apologize to y'all. I'm like completely out of it today. I don't feel good. Freaking allergies kicking my I finished my meal and headed over to Lush for the Retired Working For You meetup. But as I mentioned, I really wasn't feeling well, so I made an early exit, headed back to the hotel, and got some rest before my flight to Koh Samui. I've done a video where I mentioned that my third and final visit to Koh Samui was hampered by the allergies that I just spoke of. If you'd like to know the details of that third visit, check out the link in the description box below. Once in Bangkok, I took a taxi back to Pattaya and checked into my hotel here at Aqua. I paid a pinch under $75 for two nights for this comfortable room that was conveniently located just off of Soy Honey. I took a shower, relaxed a bit, and then paid a visit to my favorite restaurant in Pattaya. I'm sitting in one of my favorite restaurants in Pattaya. Might be my favorite restaurant in Pattaya. It's called the Deli Factory. Got me some hot tea. Peach. But I'm on. Throw some sugar in there and then throw it in that ice. Nam Kang, make me some iced tea. They're making my sandwich right now. From there, it was off to the wet spot. I had a few drinks and then we all headed out toward Walking Street. I made a pit stop at the 7-Eleven on Beach Road and purchased ice cream for everyone. And the plan was to go to 808, but it was closed by the time we got there. So it was on to plan B. What are we doing? Hello, we go eat, pa. Where are we going to eat? We go eat, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> restaurant, yeah, yeah. Restaurant down it's here? It's for, pa. Okay. It's for, taxi. Joy? Yes, mouth? I joy, pa. Your mouth? My mouth, pa. My mouth, my okay. mouth. 
Do it. 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 Mau? I think water. Are you mau? Uh, okay, mau ko mau. <laughs> mau nito eh, mau. Yeah, mau nito eh. Mau nito What's your name? John. John. John mau? Mau nito Mau nito eh. May? What? Mau? Mau, okay. Phil? Mau nito eh. Alright, we're gonna go down here and get some to eat. Mogata. Mogata. Yes, Mogata. Mogata. Have a Mogata or Mogata? Mogata. Mogata. Yes. Okay. Yes, big time. Let's do it. Very good. Do it. Enjoy. It's my my last like real official day here. Uh, I should say this is my last full day here. Tomorrow I'll be here most of the day, but I have to leave at about 10 o'clock to go back to Bangkok to the airport because my flight leaves at uh, 2:30 a.m. So again, this is my last full day. I've got a bunch of bot in my pocket that I didn't spend. And I'm not going to convert it back. So, i basically just been giving it away all day. Uh, <laughs> my my real good friend, I made a video about her, the, the massage therapist. So, I, I booked her a nice hotel room. I paid the uh, massage parlor 300 baht so that she could leave work early. And then I gave her 3,000 baht. And that was basically to cover you know, the money that she could have made today so she could go out and get her a nice dinner. And I don't know, maybe she might go do a little shopping. I don't know what she gonna do. I just gave her 3,000 bucks to do whatever she wants with it. And so she'll be able to have the day off, relax in a nice room, chill out. Um, she was just really nice to me when I was here. You know, I, there was days when I didn't have anywhere to put my luggage because I might've came back to Pattaya early or checked out of my hotel. Uh, and she would look out for my stuff for me. Uh, one day I washed my sneakers and I didn't have time to sit around for them to dry. She took them and, and took care of them. For, like, I know that sounds like small stuff, but to me it was, those were really nice acts of kindness. So just want to get back. So now you all know this place, Bath and Body Works. They're having a buy two, get one free sale. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy like 10 sets of the little small ones because they're only like 80 baht. These little small ones here. Uh, let's see. Yes, that's 70 baht for the body cream. And then if you bought the spray to go with it, I don't wanna focus, it's 75 baht. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pick 10 of these. They're buy two, get one free. So I could buy 10. I actually might be able to get, 
I don't know. I got to do the math. <laughs> Should have did the math before. I, as you can tell, I suck at math. I can't do it in my head while I'm talking to you. But yeah, man, they've got a lot, a lot of different ones. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy one either body wash and the spritzer. I'll buy the spritzer for sure. But then it just depends on if I get the body wash or the body cream. I'm going to do the math. I'm going to buy these. And then I'm going to go back to my favorite place late tonight called the wet spot. All right. See you in a little bit. All right. Walk back on over here toward the room. We'll cut through here. Hit Mr. DIY. If you know how to read Thai, you were probably laughing your ass off. <laughs> because I thought that it was saying 70 baht and 80 baht for those lotions. But in reality, it was saying that's how big the bottle was. 75 milliliter or 88 milliliter. I'm just goofy because the price was right there on the shelf. 300 baht or 360 baht. I just didn't even see it. I just was so fixated on that sticker that said 75 baht or 88. Or, I mean, it didn't say baht, but it just said 75 or 88. And I thought it meant baht. Like I said, because I'm a goober. <laughs> but, so I ended up spending way more money than I intended to but like I said in all honesty I've got a bunch of bot in my pocket that's just burning a hole that I'm not going to do anything with here in a couple days so might as well have some fun and make some pretty girls smile in the process who says there's anything wrong with that alright I'm back in the room uh, I stopped at one of my favorite restaurants there's a place I go to and get masama, uh, chicken masama curry. Super good. It's about the the level of spice that I can deal with, but it's not so spicy that I can't taste the food. It's It's got that perfect amount, so I go there. When I was staying here in Pate, I went there at least once a week. I did Deli Factory last night. I'll do Deli Factory again tomorrow. Um, I tried to do <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I tried to go get my chicken from my the lady out at the market in John Tien. If you send her a message, she'll make sure she has it when you get there because that chicken is so popular. If you don't get there in time, it'd be gone. As I mentioned to you before, I got a bunch of bot that I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna bring all this back to the States and just be sitting on it for another year. You know, or however long it takes me to get back here to Thailand. I'm just, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have fun on my last, my last full night here. I'm going to ball out, as they say. <laughs> We're going to have some fun, man. So I got 10 sets and brought them up there. And she was like, 2,900. I was like, what? <laughs> that was for only the lotions. And then she put all the sprays on a separate order. And that was going to be like another 3,000 baht. And I was like, okay, I wasn't trying to spend 6,000 freaking baht right now. So I whittled it down and I just picked three. Or I'm sorry, six. Six sets. And I think that ended up costing me. Let's see. This is what the girls will win tonight. Whoever wins, you know, they'll get a chance to pick pick a set until they're gone but yeah i'm gonna i already ironed my clothes earlier this morning i'm just gonna jump in the shower probably shave my head again polish it up and wax your head because you look so good and you sound so bad oh yeah I really have to make a serious decision as to whether or not I'm going to leave that in there or if I'm going to edit it out. <clears throat> That's a tough one.
Still got drainage. But I came to get a massage today. It's my, my last day here. Y'all remember my buddy. <laughs> and she hooked me up with some of this. Ota. Original ginger and honey. Oh, I think it's a powder. And then she just put it in the water, hot water. I drank four, five, six of it, man. I could almost, this, you know, opens up a little bit. It's good stuff. Taste, it tastes good too. I didn't think it was gonna taste good. That's what I mean about some people in Thailand. They just, they're really nice. I already checked out of my hotel and I'm not leaving here till 10 o'clock. I left my luggage over there. She was like, I'll, I'll look after it for you. Just come back at 10. No problem. It's about time to go find something to eat. Let's have my sack bag. After my meal, I stopped by a dive bar on Soy Chayapum. Followed by a cozy bar in Tree Town. massage parlor to pick up my laundry and to wait for the taxi to bring me back to Bangkok and I caught my flight to the States. I thoroughly enjoyed my three and a half month visit to Thailand so much that I'll be headed back in January. What is it? What is this for? Buddha. Buddha. Good luck for you. Good, good luck for you. Nah. Good luck. Mm, good luck for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.